That mystery smell, though, in a Nicholas County school has parents there concerned, as you can imagine, and school officials stumped. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Abney and I'm Rob Macko. Today, Nicholas County school officials met with the concerned parents from Summersville Elementary School. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley was there. She joins us now live in the studio with the latest Lily. Rob, Jennifer, students, staff and parents say the smell at Summersville Elementary School is unbearable, but no one is really sure where that smell is coming from. Some describe it as a musky smell, some as a natural gas smell, some as a rotten animal. You know, it just varies. But all agree, something at Summersville Elementary School in Nicholas County stinks. We've exhausted every effort that, and everything that we know to do to make repairs to the school and to determine the source of the smell. And uh, we asked the State Department of Education to please come in and do a review of the facility with us. According to the report from the West Virginia Department of Education, officials believe poor ventilation in addition to leaks and poor water drainage from certain parts of the ceiling could be to blame. They've made several recommendations. There's no requirements for us to do anything. But there's recommendations, and of course, I'm going to follow those recommendations. Recommendations and changes that Superintendent Dr. Burge Tietrich says the school district is already making. The report recommends that we put a sloped roof over this area that has the tectum um, to prevent it from getting wet, and among er other things, and of course, I've got reports to pass out to the parents as well. But many parents, like uh, Rihanna Brown, say, are still worried uh, about the smell. We don't yeah, want to cause any drama or create any bigger problems than the odor itself. We just want to know what's causing it, and we want to see proof that it's not something that's going to hurt our kids in any way, or the adults, even the teachers. We just want to make sure that everybody is okay and that whatever's causing the odor, we just want to get it fixed. And that is something that the school district agrees with. At tonight's meeting, the superintendent offered any parent who isn't satisfied the opportunity to transfer their child to another area elementary school. She says she's also planning to start a committee of concerned parents so that parents have a place to voice their concerns. In the meantime, Summersville Elementary School will be closed tomorrow, Tuesday the 19th, so that the Nicholas County Board of Education maintenance crew, with the help of Summersville City crew, can smoke the pipes in the elementary school to see if that will help with with the odor issue as well. For now, reporting live in the studio, I'm Lily Bradley. Rob, back to you.